Hey guys, so today I wanna to show you an app that is really awesome if you wanna be able to track your spending. And if you search the app store, just search for spending tracker and you should be able to find it. All right, so let's open the app and show you guys how it works. So this first page here is your spending tab. And as you can see, it shows my income, which I'm not going to track, but it also shows your expenses for this month. And if you click on the month right here, you can switch to weekly, monthly, or the yearly view. And for now, I'm just going to keep it on the monthly view. Then just below that are arrows that you can click on to show the different months. And down here, if you click on expense, you can add the date, which is already there and then add the amount, so we'll just do $25, and then click on the category, and I just chose entertainment just to show you guys, and then hit done. And there will be ads that do pop up on occasion, but they usually only last about five seconds, which isn't too bad, and there will also be an ad down at the bottom. Now if you guys are wanting to track your income, you basically do it the same way as adding an expense, except you'll hit income and you'll just plug in the numbers the same way. So now we will go to the next tab and this is where you will be able to edit your transactions and see more details about them. So I'm just going to delete the transactions that I gave you guys as examples and just show you how easy it is to delete them. So like before, you can click on the arrow to change the different months and also change the view to weekly, monthly, or yearly. And if you hit the export button, you can export data as a PDF or a CSV file. So next you can click on sort and sort your transactions in any way that you want to. And if you want to enter a new transaction, you can also do it here by hitting the plus button. Now there's a really cool feature with this app that you might not know about right off the bat, but you can flip the screen horizontally while you're on the spending or transaction tab and you can look at a graph of your expenses. So right here you're looking at all the categories and you can see in the dollar amount how much I've spent. And as you can see we are in the bar graph view and if you click down here you can see a pie chart view if you like that view better. Then you can also click on the arrows to switch between different months like they have on the other pages. And if you click on cash flow, I believe this will be a line graph once you have the app for a few months and have some data in there. And then if we go back, you can change between a percent and dollar amount for the numbers. And then if you switch to the plus button, that will show your income, but I don't have anything inputted for that. So then the minus just goes back to your expenses. All right, so let's go back to the main view of the app and click on the third tab called categories. So here you can edit your categories if you choose to do so. And so we're just going to find a video game icon and set the name to games. Now the last tab just goes into the settings page which I'm not really going to get into just because I haven't had the need to use it yet. So thanks for watching guys and don't forget to leave a like if you guys enjoyed the video.